Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to verify your domain on WordPress. You may need to verify your domain in order to customize your events and do aggregated events management so that you can prioritize which of your um, events are more important to you when you are running your advert. So for example, if you come to your events manager, if you come to events manager, as you can see, you will see something like verify. If you don't verify this, you will not be able to do aggregated event management so that you can prioritize which of your events are more important to you. So in this video, I will show you a step-by-step -step process of how to verify your domain. So when you click on verify, for example, it will bring us to this particular place. Or if you, you were already in business manager, you just could come scroll down to domains or brand safety under brand safety, you see domain. If you didn't have a domain, you just click on add domain, then you put your domain name there. Then after you add it, they will ask you to verify it. So if you are asked to verify, um, there are several of the procedures. Some are simpler and some are more technical that you may need a, 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 a web developer to help you. So I'm going to show you one of the simplest methods you can do. And then after you follow it, if that doesn't work, we can look at the other methods. But I am sure if you follow basically what I'm showing you here, you're going to get it resolved. So we have several of them. The first one is to add a meta tag to your HTML source code. The second one is to upload an HTML file to your root directory. This one, you need to log into the cPanel and then update the DNS text record with your domain registrar. So this one, you will need to, um, it, 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 the, the, the company that you are hosting your website with are the people that will help you to be able to verify this using the third method. So we are going to use the first method, which are, which will be simpler for all of us, okay? Even if you are not a technical person. Okay, if you come to your website backend, you look for this particular plugin. Okay, so this is it. Insert headers and footers. You can install it and activate it. Okay, so it is installed and it has been activated. Okay, so you come to your settings and below your settings, you are, you can see headers and footers here. Okay, so when you come back to, okay, so when you come back here, as you can see, this is the code. Okay, so it has been copied. You come and copy this code and you come back here. They said we should paste it on the header section. Copy this tag, paste that meta tag into the head the header section. So you come to the header section. So you paste it. So after you pasted it, you scroll down and click on save changes. Okay. So after you save changes, you come back see whether it is working or not okay so you come scroll down and click on verify domain okay so as you can see the domain has been verified so this is exactly the step-by-step -step process that you need to follow in order to get your domain verified if you follow this procedure and you still don't get a resolution please remember to follow us take time to you can follow the whatsapp link in the description to whatsapp us you can also go to our website you can follow the link to our website to also book um for our zoom meeting so that we can help you follow this step-by-step -step process we can we can look at your account whatever problem that you're facing we can help you get your issues resolved very so if you follow it yeah you'll be able to get 
um, exactly as you can see on this screen. Thank you so much once again and have a great day. Remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more other powerful videos like this. Bye-bye.